Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, we are trying it again. We are once again in the uh, garage studio. And uh, we've got everything set back up. Uh, we have replaced the computer. And we are once again going to try and play and hopefully show you uh, Equestrian Showcase. Uh, this is by Zenimax Studios and uh, Mud Duck. And I remember Mud Duck from something, but then I completely forgot. So, uh, playing this game. So this is a horse game, not necessarily a, a racing game. And you'll see that in a minute. I'm just gonna do. Um, we're not gonna go to training or practice because we've done that before. Or I've done that before. You never saw the video and you never will because uh So the it went so badly, so badly. I like Karen O'Connor for this. And you can actually like create profile or read the profiles, sorry. Um, Karen O'Connor, American, she was 42, which would put her in her 50s. Uh, but yeah, you can read all about her. Uh, edit custom, which you can customize the rider, the horse, the thing, whatever you want to do. And I love the horse noise. That's just funny. All right, so let's let's uh, let's go. We're doing uh, dressage. We can't go to Sydney because I have never unlocked it. I don't know how. Um, but these are big squares. So I don't know if they're rated differently, however. But we're going to go to Kentucky. Some of my family lives close to Kentucky, and so here are the main uh, three things. So there there's dressage, cross country, and show jumping. And dressage is the only one that I actually understand. So we'll go with we'll go with this one. Well, I know how to play. This arena I won't is admit as picturesque as ever. It. And it's got voice, which is nice. And it's in practice Beautiful and everything today, else. It bright doesn't, sunshine and a gentle breeze. It doesn't talk as well. So the controls are fairly simple. You enter it in and you push it up to, to go faster. You push. You salute. And then you proceed in a trot. There's a walk. There's a trot. So you see your gate. So you go faster, you go slower. This does support analog. Nice I salute. Have an analog controller. So. You just kind of. Moving into trot now. And what it is is basically you just nice try to do whatever the, your your routine, which I kind of uh, I find it interesting because this basically mimics the driving line of uh, about to change the trot. more modern racing games, and then occasionally it'll show you a driving line and it'll say okay. So this is orange, which is the trot, nice rhythm and, and trot. this up here is red, so it wants me to canter. I don't think I ever gallop. Oh, I'm gonna get points off for that. Moving into trot now. And basically, you just uh, follow the guides. You know, do follow the uh, Pac-Man. All the dots, eat the dots, nom 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 nom. But yeah. Nice rhythm on the trot. Walk looks so easy, but I can tell you it's one of the hardest movements in dressage. It looks easy, but it's not. I forgot to clean the glasses. Um, that'll bug any of you who can actually see them. But so we're. Here we are. Lovely rhythm in the walk.
And like, this is beginner. So what this is, is this is uh, nice rhythm on the trot. They halt and salute the judges. And then we're gonna walk out. So this is at beginner level. So this is the easiest thing possible. If you go into training, it shows you there's like a. Well, that certainly a, was a fabulous. I don't know what it's called. She brought the best God. out of her horse. Um, but yeah, see, so I got 43.9 out of 60 and 54.7 out of 80. Whatever that means. I got penalties of 24.8. I don't know what any of that means, but hey. Uh, we're going to view the... So this is kind of cool. And that you can actually... Look around. backwards so if you've ever wanted to watch a horse go backwards this is the game for you um, and then we can get out of here let's look at how they stand after the dressage they're lying in first place so I guess that's good I'm at I'm number one so we're we'll turned to main menu and I'll show you some of the other ones so Is it Burley Park? It looks like it should be Burley. Berkeley? Berkeley. Burley? Park, whatever. I'll have to look it up later. So we'll show you I'll show you cross country. Cross country I do not understand. And I have not played the tutorial, so that that's probably a failure on my part. But Oh, it's also lightning and thundering. Fence one, the pedigree dog pool, is a straightforward and quite heavy so, rain falling now. The ground could become pretty slippery. Go. So as near as I can tell. Making a great start over the dog pool. This horse is jumping well for her. We shouldn't come into this fence too fast because the horse can't see the landing. I don't know why I did that, but approaching the new age ditch now. So you push up to go faster, and you push X to jump. Well, she's handled that very well. This horse just cantering along this part of the course. Coming down to the pedigree poser. But it's it's a long there seem to be long stretches of nothing. And then there's this stuff that I don't get. Cantering nicely through there. That's a nasty fall for her. See. And then there's that. Oh, a bit so, battered you know. and bruised, but she's getting back on. Taking it easy, trotting, maybe to conserve some energy. But see, I don't know what any of this stuff on the side means. I don't know what the little bar means. It might mean my stamina, it might not. They've missed the last jump. Cattering along this section now. That's it, they're disqualified. 
and, and she's getting back on. So well, each of those courses is for these two. way, way weird. Let's look at how they stand after the cross country. Yeah. Return to the So that one I don't understand at all. Um, show jumping I understand a little in that it's basically the same thing we just did without walking around. So I remember watching these. I don't remember why or where, but it's well, like this very much seems uh, one of those games now, where you need to. It's always going to make it a little bit more difficult for horses. This horse is jumping well for her. She handles that very well. And I remember oh, watching this so easy. on TV and just being like. Horses have stupid jumping skills. This horse has a great style of jumping. Jump very well over that. Because they were literally just like walking up. It's just and lovely watching these two. Jumping over everything. Well, horse and rider had great balance over that. Which was fence. fascinating because. Humans can't do that. Great effort there, and this horse is really full of going. No problem there. Then again, that's why we created ladders. We'll clear over that. Then you're supposed to be speeding up and slowing down and. This is the first combination. Cross the finish line now. Is that complete? All right, so I did way better the second time. Oh, they've done now a knowing that. job. The horse really tried for it. No penalties? Let's look awesome. at the placings after the show jumping. They're lying in look first place. So, like, I don't know how, I don't know how all that works. So. This was Equestrian Showcase, and uh, it does have two-player support, uh, so if you've ever wanted to play two-player, this is a fun game, and I picked it up for a whopping $2.95. So, if what you saw is entertaining, uh, it is a good game, it handles well, the graphics are fine, I mean, they're horses, uh, but the, the music is very peaceful and calm and the announcers are nice so you got that um, so yeah this is rather fun and it's a weird enough game that I don't know uh, it does have analog controller support I mentioned that earlier uh, it also has uh, rumble so if anybody wanted to Oh, sorry. Equestrian Showcase, steal the show. But here's some... I'm, I'm now wondering if this was ever done again. Because... This looks like... It should have been a long-running franchise. But I don't know how many equestrians are like, yeah, video games, that's what I want. So, you know. Alright, well, that's it for me. I'm going to go uh, shut everything down, head back inside. But thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!